welcome to Anything Can Happen Monday. Today I'm going to offer you some unsolicited parenting advice. <laughs> Before I get there, I just thought I'd say how great I feel. It felt great to have a break yesterday. I was going through a lot of stressful things. There was some personal things I was dealing with. Then there was just the, the intense stress of having kids and a family and all those things and the vlog and the changes. And I was really saying for a long time, I need a break. But every time I got a little bit of a break, a couple hours without the kids, I was working on something. I did something. I cleaned the house. I did meal prep. Or I edited videos. On Friday, I told Luca, you need to come home from work and take the kids away. Whenever you do come home, that's what needs to happen. And he took them for about four hours. And in those four hours, I made myself do nothing. I laid in bed and I rested. I didn't read, even though I wanted to, but I thought that's really making my brain work. I need to do something that requires zero effort from my brain. I watched a few things, I rested, I relaxed. I felt very refreshed after that. Then on Saturday, we dropped off the kids, we went to the sauna, we had time for ourselves. And then on Sunday, we had a nice family dinner. I didn't do a vlog. And I think all those things in a row left me feeling so refreshed. I feel so much better. I really feel like I can handle things now. You kind of start to feel like you can't handle anything. So if you're a parent and you're starting to feel like you just can't handle anything, you're being a bad parent, just take some time to do nothing. Just detach and let your brain take a moment to recover. That helped me immensely. So, fresh week, I feel really good about this. I feel great about making videos this week, which is exciting. Most importantly, I feel like a better mom. Speaking of being a mom, Olivia has not been herself. She's been really, I mean, what three-year-old isn't whiny, but she's been really whiny lately, and it's kind of, I feel like with kids, they go through phases all the time. And you're not always sure that's what's happening. Maybe they're just developing or forming a new bad habit that needs to be broken. Maybe they're just going through a phase. Maybe they're testing their boundaries. They're pushing against, you know, their, their parents, which is normal and totally to be expected. Maybe something happened and they don't know how to tell you or express it. And so they just act out. Tony Robbins said, and I'm going to paraphrase, that people behave horribly in a way that would push you away when they need you the most. And I think this is especially true for children. They cannot tell you that they're struggling with growing up. They can't express to you these things. And I have found that most of the time, when Olivia is having a very difficult period, meaning she's very whiny, she's melting down at everything. She's crying. She's not talking nicely. She's throwing fits about everything. Like when she is just crumbling everywhere, that's usually when she needs me the most. Not every child is like this, but I have found that with Olivia, when she's really acting out, your natural response is, I can't deal with you. You Go to your room or somebody take you, or I can't wait to drop you off at kindergarten so you can, I can get rid of you because you are driving me crazy. And what I found is that with Olivia especially, when she's like that, she needs closeness. I see this happening a lot when Luca goes away on business for an extended period of time, when we don't have family time together for too long, or when we go the whole weekend but we're not really together. I see that the lack of that core family time really affects her. And the best way to get her kind of back on track is to spend quality time with her and to really be affectionate with her and really pour a lot of love over her. I don't know that every child is this way, but I see this with her. And I really learned this at one point when she was, she was just about two years old and she was having a horrible day. We were both having a horrible day. She was crying and whining. The kind of child where you just say, what is wrong? 
what's going on with you? You're like, you're crazy. You're not like this normally. What is it? They can't really tell you. And I just remember trying all sorts of things. There's times when you have to be very authoritarian with your child, like very strong. Like it ends now, you know, like that cut off. Um, I think that should be reserved for rare occasions because the more you use that, the less they pay attention, the less serious they take it. And with Olivia, I remember trying all these things, trying kind of the, like, it's enough, stop crying, you know? And it was just a meltdown on top of a meltdown. And then I took her, I said, Olivia, come here. And I held her and I just held her really close and I just waited. And she didn't say anything and she just sat there on my lap. And after about five minutes, it was just total silence. She looks at me, she says, I feel better now, mommy. And she got down and the rest of the day she was an angel. And I really learned a really strong parenting lesson from that is that a lot of times your kids don't need you to be a very strong authority in their life. A lot of times they need you to be a loving, guiding parent. It's hard to grow up when you're little and you have these huge feelings inside you and you have no way to communicate that other than acting terrible. Today, we started to get ready for kindergarten and Olivia was just, as soon as Luca walked out the door, she was struggling. She was crying, she was whining, she was angry, she was upset. And I just said, this is not, this is not you. You are not like this. Like, this is not who you are. And I said, okay, she is not going to kindergarten today. We are going to spend today together. I didn't say a word to her. I just came in here, I took a book, I went into the bedroom, I sat down on the bed, and I opened the book and I started to read out loud. And she jumped up on the bed, came in and cuddled next to me. Leah came next to me also, I picked her up, and we read a book for about half an hour. And like from that, she was totally different. Then we had a snack together, we did everything together. Leah went to take a nap, we planted some seeds, we did some drawing together. We read a book together. We just did a lot of together time. We went out to run errands and she was a perfect angel. So sometimes your kids just need that closeness, even when they're acting in a way that makes you want to really push them away. Take your break and then take a break with them to build that closeness because I think a lot of kids need that and then they act in a way that doesn't correspond, doesn't make any sense. You would think that if they really want you to like hug them and hold them that they'd come to you and ask you for that. But usually they just act like little jerks and then you have to hold them and hug them and then they're like little angels again. That's what I have to say for today. I hope this helped you. If you're not a parent, this is not exclusive for parents. I have someone else in my family who's an adult and when they're acting like a terrible person I know that they really need love and affection and words of affirmation and I need to tell that person how much I love them how wonderful they are how great they are and then they become a much nicer person we get this from the movies where it's like somebody's not behaving nicely so we're gonna like give them a talking and we like tell them what's up and we basically just crap all over them and we think we're so good at it when in reality, people usually need a lot of love and understanding and grace. I'm gonna get off my soapbox now. And that's my unsolicited parenting advice slash life advice. I hope it was helpful for you. Honestly, I'm not like, I, I feel very weird offering advice because I feel like I'm no expert. There's no initials after my name or anything. I'm just sharing with you life lessons I've learned that have been helpful for me. If they're helpful for you, fantastic. If they're not, fantastic. Share with me one of your life lessons. That would be helpful. I would appreciate that. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for being a part of my Anything Can Happen Monday. I appreciate it. If you liked this video, please like it. If you liked me, please subscribe and I will see you tomorrow.